buzzing for small business week, Sally. For small business owners, word of mouth promotion has been a time tested way to reach new customers and generate awareness. But with the popularity of social media, small business owners could be leaving a lot of money on the table if they don't jump online. Joining us with some new insights is Tim Carroll from the Deluxe Corporation. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Sally. So, what's your advice? What are some things that business owners can do to just grab more attention online? Yeah, so we. we want business owners to think about um, what that experience is for someone coming to visit them online for the first time. And the, the most important piece of advice we have is if you have existing customers that, that are fans of yours, make sure you get them online first. You want them out there writing reviews, following you on Facebook and Twitter, sharing with their network. They're your best ambassadors and they're going to lay the groundwork for the customers coming behind them. And then make sure you know how you're showing up as a, as a website, as a brand on um, search engine marketing. So if, if you Google yourself and you're not showing up on the first page of Google for terms you think are relevant to your business, you, you should probably get some professional help to get that fixed. That's a fixable problem. But if Google can't find you, it's going to be hard for customers to find you when they hear good things about you from a word of mouth standpoint. And then we want small businesses to be, um, to be fresh. We want you to have fresh content on your website and, and realize that a lot of people are coming to you for the very first time today and make sure what's on your website or on your Facebook page or on your Twitter account is relevant for someone um, you know, on the 14th of May. <laughs> so there were some surprising statistics that came out of a recent survey that you guys took. Tell us about these. Yeah, so we asked small business owners, yeah, how are you engaging customers online and how much time are you spending managing your, your uh, online presence, things like your social media, your website, your email account. And, and small businesses told us that um, seventy three percent of them had word of mouth as the most important tool they use to uh, find and engage customers, but at the same time, um, less than thirty percent of our small business owners are spending an hour or more a week working on their online presence so they 're doing a lot of work next. What happens when savvy shoppers hear about something and go online to check it out the first time you know since there is so much more social media out there, is a basic website still equally as important as being on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram? You know, they, they all work together. And I, I, the question I usually ask small business owners is, have you talked to your customers? Because your, your existing customers are your best source of how do people shop for your product in, in your uh, demographic and in your location. So if your customers are telling you they like doing a search and coming to your website and that works for you, great. If people say, look, I've never been to your website at all, I just follow you on Twitter and wait until you give me a deal and then I come in. Um, you're going to learn a lot from talking to your existing customers and your prospective customers are often going to look a lot like people you're already doing business with. Well, it, it just seems that, you know, social media is so much easier to update than an actual website. You know, people are more inclined to do social media. Can they even really rely on that for business development prior to opening and then once they're open? Yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful place to get started because, to your point, it, it, it's very accessible, it's easy to do. You, you to start, the, the important part, especially at startup, is try to learn and understand what, what matters to your customers. What are they excited about? What do they want to learn about? And, and the more interactive or conversation you can have with them, the better. And, and a Facebook and a Twitter are just phenomenal sources to get that, um, that feed in the street of what, what's going to make your customers tick. So if this has struck a chord with a small business owner in Tucson or Southern Arizona, where can they go for more information? Um, you know, Deluxe, we put our freshest content on our Facebook and Twitter feed. So <laughs> we're at Deluxe Corp <laughs> as a handle. And our website is deluxe.com where we have a blog and a little more detail about the study we just did. All right, Tim, thank you very much for good information this morning. And don't you touch that remote. There's a lot more Morning Blend when we come back right after these messages. Hi, it's Amanda, and we've got the chance for